Hi Year 12, hope you're having a wonderful time locked down at home. I have just the thing for you for this week to get you away from your desks and away from your computers. It's Moroccan lamb stew with roast sumac potato. That's part of what you have to do and your family are going to love you for it. And I'm very thankful to my daughter for her wonderful new kitchen and my tech head sons who are helping me do this today. Moroccan lamb stew with roast sumac potatoes. So we need to get potatoes on first. So you have 800 grams of Desiree potatoes. They're the ones that look a bit pinky on the outside. And I'm going to prepare those first and get them on. Then I'm going to talk to you about all my other ingredients. So these have been washed and peeled and rewashed. And we cut them in half. We place them in a saucepan of cold water. And remember to stabilize your board underneath, which is what I've already done and using a nice sharp knife and these have to cook for eight to ten minutes after they come to the boil just to par cook them and then we have to drain them swish them around the pot to smash them up slightly and then they're going to be coated in oil and sumac which i have here sumac okay and they're going to be baked in a baking dish in the oven for about 45 minutes after that. So all in all, your potatoes are going to take you about an hour to do from start to finish. What happens if you haven't got sumac? What if do you, you haven't use? got sumac, paprika might do. Not quite the same flavour, but you might have paprika at home. And so that'd be good. So on the stove, I'm going to put them on the back that I've already got on and turn it. Turn them up to high, and I need to put a lid on that saucepan. Which I so this is a gas gas stove. If uh, if they don't have this, electric's fine. Yes, they're used to using gas. And then now I'm going to start with my lamb. 